Today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun craft that I have enjoyed um, making several times. It um, has to do with uh, rocks or shells and I just find them really sweet to give as gifts to make for family members. I've also done it as a gathering of friends as a group uh, craft. This is one I made for my son. Um, has a really cute saying, very simple. This is one that I made for my daughter, which you'll notice I used shells as well as the pebbles. And then I made one for myself, which I did the shells and the pebbles, and then I just got a branch from the yard and added some string. And then my daughter actually loved it so much, her and her friends got together and made them. And this is one that she made which was just from, again, twigs from the yard and some dried flowers. So you can really see they're really cute ideas that you can do. And the neat thing about all of these shells and pebbles I collected while on vacation with my family. So it also is kind of sentimental because it brings back memories of where I actually gathered the, um, the shells and the pebbles from. So I'm gonna show you how to make one for yourself. In order to do this craft, you only need a few basic supplies. One, you need a shadow box picture. The one I'm gonna use is an eight by eight um, dimensional frame that you can get at the craft store. A piece of cardstock paper, I'm gonna choose the color pink, but in my, um, other boxes you've seen yellow, purple, white, so whatever color you want. And then some smooth uh, pebbles are nice. I found these along a beach um, when I was on vacation, shells. So just as you're going on vacation and going on nature walks, just keep an eye out. I find that the body shapes are good to be uh, two to three inches narrow or uh, large round ones and then the heads a little bit smaller so as you're searching around for pebbles uh, consider the size that make good shapes the little ones for pocketbooks and and feet and things like that you can also use uh, glass that you find um, and just anything, um, but the pebbles are nice. So just gather a whole bunch, and then when you get home, you can sort through them and determine which shapes uh, work best. And then a pair of scissors, a pencil, a Sharpie, and your hot glue gun. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get started is I went ahead and printed my saying and I usually go with a script that's kind of handwritten. I don't like my own handwriting, so um, I use the printer, but if you do have really nice handwriting, you can just handwrite it as well. And then what you wanna do is take your uh, piece of paper that comes in the picture frame, and you just wanna center it to where you want your writing. I want my writing at the top, so I'm going to center it and trace my square and cut my square out. So that'll be your first step. So the best way I find to trace is to just in the light use the square and you'll see the darkness so you can see exactly where your square is. So move it to exactly where you want it. I want my type to kind of be towards the center of my frame. You can put it at the top or the bottom and then just use that as a stencil and that'll give you an idea of where it's going to be in your picture. And then just use a pencil and do your outline and cut it out. So once you cut it, just uh, put it into your picture frame just to make sure it fits right and it's right where you want it. And then the next step will be to put our rocks. 
So you just want to sort through your rocks and find the rocks that are the best shape for you. Today I'm doing best friends, so I'm going to do two people. And these are the two rocks that I thought worked nice. And then I'm going to do them holding two pocketbooks. So you just want to position your rocks and then we're going to take a hot glue gun and you're going to glue your rocks down. So the first thing I did was place my bodies about where I think I want them. And then with a pencil, I'm just going to lightly put in the um, hands like where I think I want them to come. And then I'm just going to trace over them. I just want to make sure I have them in the right spot, right about where I think I'm going to want them. And then I'm going to um, take the pencil marks and make them out of Sharpie. Okay, so I have sharpied the hands and now I'm going to hot glue the bodies down. Okay, once you have the bodies down, then you can go ahead and make the other hands, which are gonna come off of each side of the body. And I just put little ovals for their hands. And then the other thing you're gonna do is do their legs coming down. And again, I do little ovals for their feet. And do the other set of legs. And this one, I'm gonna just do a bend. And then you're going to glue on the heads, some hot glue. Next, you're gonna add the pocketbooks, which you're just gonna do a little loop on each arm. And then you're going to glue your pocketbook down. Now you can be finished at that, but what I would like to do is just add a few flowers. So what I did was I just took colored paper and a flower punch and I punched out some flowers in two different sizes. And all I'm gonna do is hot glue them around the uh, perimeter of my, you can use uh, actually regular glue if you wanted to. You're just gonna glue these around the outside. And then once you glue them down, I just took my marker and I just made a cute little center in my flower. So once you're done adding your flowers or whatever decorations you want, you just slip it into your picture frame. And I just keep everything that came with it, I just put back in the picture. Bottom one. 
And there you have a really cute little picture to keep for yourself or to give as a gift. If this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It helps let us know what you like. And thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.